If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve this Oogie Boogie makeup look and also how you can make his fun little headpiece. This look is heavily inspired by Jordan Hans here on YouTube, but she actually has a Twitch account which she's currently more active on, so I'm going to be leaving both linked down below so you guys can check her out. I wanted to do Oogie Boogie since last year because I kind of wanted to do a few Nightmare Before Christmas characters every year for Halloween, honestly until I run out of characters, just because they're so much fun and so creative and honestly just Halloween icons. So last year I decided to do Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas and my Halloween Town Sora from Kingdom Hearts which is based in The Nightmare Before Christmas world. And this year, as you can see in my last video, I decided to do my own glam version of the mayor from The Nightmare Before Christmas so I thought it'd be fun to throw in Oogie Boogie as well. He's honestly just such a fun and sassy character and you can kind of really decorate him however you want. You can add more rips into him, you can kind of make him more green toned, and the great thing about this is this does include UV body paints so if I were to go to a party or an event where there are black lights you would actually see some of these spotted details which is so much fun and definitely adds an entirely new element to this character. I mean can you just imagine wearing this casually to go bowling and it's disco night and they have all the black light excuse you good back there thank you as I was saying you're bowling and it's disco fine, it's interactive. You're bowling, it's disco night. You have the black lights on you and people just look at you and they're like, oh my God, and you're like, hello. It was its time. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Oogie Boogie makeup look and how to make his fun little headpiece, then just keep watching. Hey guys, so to start off, we're going to be making our headpiece. So you're going to be needing some model magic, a variety of different colors and textures of burlap, a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, some party spider rings that you can get at any Halloween store, some navy yarn, some small black floss yarn, and some E6000. And of course, you're going to want a wide headband to glue this onto. To start off, we're going to be taking a giant chunk of our model magic and then just forming it into a smoother surface of a ball before starting to form it into a nice cone shape. We're going to be using the same technique that we use when trying to make a cone with our hands. So you're just going to be rolling it between your hands, having your hands pressed together at the top by your thumbs and wider at the bottom so that it starts to flare out before molding the rest with your hands and your fingers to try and make it look kind of like the hill in Nightmare Before Christmas that kind of curves over, you're going to be trying to go for that shape. Next, you're going to be making sure that it can fit nicely around your headband before moving on to the burlap. You're going to be taking some burlap on the corner and cutting off a piece that would fit nicely and gluing it on to your model magic. You're just going to be continuing this for the rest of the headband, making sure to be taking some of the different textures and colors of burlap so we can really make this look like you have different pieces stitched together. Because if you think about it, even though Oogie Boogie wasn't really discolored, I kind of wanted to incorporate that a little bit more into my version of Oogie Boogie and definitely make it look a little bit more like patchwork because I felt like it added more detail and texture and definitely made it a little bit more interesting to look at. And just like our scarecrow costume, feel free to glue on an extra patch of burlap onto some already existing burlap to help add some more texture that way as well. And since our Oogie Boogie is filled with bugs, I thought it'd be fun to kind of have a little spider hanging from the tip of his hat. So I'm just going to be taking one of our spider rings and using some wire cutters, I'm going to be cutting off the edges of the ring so you have just the spider and gluing on a little bedazzle or a rhinestone just to kind of change it up a little bit since I liked the way that this looked better. Next, you're going to be taking some of your navy yarn and just applying that to the outside of the entire headpiece, just following along the edges. Then we're going to be slowly gluing that down with our E6000 just to make sure it stays in place. And this is going to be replicating how he is stitched together on the sides. And we're going to be following that down onto our body paint as well. So I just thought it'd be nice to have that on to our headpiece. 
Next, we're going to be following that seam that we made with some more E6000 in yarn, and we're going to be making some little stitches. I'm going to be making some at a diagonal, some that are going to be in the shape of X's, just mixing it up like we would on our body paint and just having fun with it, trying to make sure that it's going to be complementing the makeup nicely and just all over more fun. And that is your completed Oogie Boogie headpiece. Next, we're going to be moving on to the makeup. So I'm going to be starting off by popping in some black sclera contact lenses before taking some petroleum jelly and just applying that all over my eyebrows to protect them before going ahead and covering them with Elmer's glue and powder. Next, I'm going to be taking my NYX Jumbo pencil in milk and just outlining Oogie Boogie's features so I know where I'm going to be applying my cotton and latex. Then I'm going to be taking some of my liquid latex and the cotton balls. I'm going to be laying down a layer of the liquid latex with a sponge before going over it with a rolled out cotton ball and applying more liquid latex over it to seal it. And I'm just going to be continuing this all around the features of Oogie Boogie, making sure to pull out the cotton in certain areas where I want to add a little bit more of a curve or some stuffing that is going to be going into the eyes or the mouth for whatever reason, just to kind of help add more shape and just continuing that all over over the face and also bring it down to my chest as well where I'm going to want to have a gash in the fabric where he's going to have some little bugs crawling out of him. Next I'm going to be taking my NYX Total Control Foundation and Porcelain and just applying that all over the cotton and latex from earlier and also bringing that down to areas of my skin, ignoring the eye sockets, the mouth, and the gaping wound in the chest. Those are going to be filled in with black body paint so you don't need to worry about applying foundation into those, but we are going to be applying this everywhere else just to serve as a base before we go in with our body paint. Speaking of body paint, I'm going to be taking my Graftobium Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown, mixing that with some of my Marilyn Paradise Paint in white, so we get a nice light cocoa shade, and just applying that all over the same areas that we applied the foundation, so we can get a closer match to that burlap. The reason I like to apply the foundation first was just so we have a smoother base to work off of, and so we already have a little bit of color as a base before we go on to darkening it. So if I did miss any areas, it's not too drastic of a color change. Next, I'm going to be taking my Marilyn Paradise Paint in Black and filling in the eye sockets, the mouth, and the nice gaping wound in his chest. We're going to be having to apply black body paint over this throughout the entire process just because we're going to be splattering some stuff on it, but I just wanted to go ahead and fill it in so I could go ahead and start to see the vision of this creature that I am creating. I'm then going to be going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe eyeshadow palette, taking this black and just applying this all over the body paint to help mattify it and help it not move all over my face. I'm then going to be taking this brown eyeshadow and applying it all over the mouth area just so we can add some shadows to help make this look more realistic as if the burlap is actually being tucked in to this open wound. And so you're going to want to apply this around the mouth, the eyes, and his little chest piece as well. I'm then going to be taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in Sleek Black and applying that to my lower waterline to help darken that up a bit before going back into my Graftopian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown, taking a chip brush, and you're just going to be splattering this all over your body to help add more texture, to kind of really help emphasize that burlap texture that the Oogie Boogie would obviously have. We're also going to be doing the exact same thing with our Marilyn Paradise paint in white just to kind of help brighten that up a bit. And also taking our Graftobian Pro paint in Mantis Green and adding that nice little green tint. But because we don't want it to be too intense, we're just going to be splattering that all over the body. So it's that nice little shade of green that is perfect for Oogie Boogie. We're then going to be going back into the brown eyeshadow and kind of create some expression lines on his forehead to help make him look a little bit angry before making sure to blend that out so it's not too intense and go back into our Marilyn Paradise paint in black and just kind of go over all of the areas that we kind of got some paint splattered on just to kind of help fix that up a bit before we move on to creating the seams in his sides. So you're just going to be creating some lines down your shoulders and bringing up the sides of your neck and going ahead and creating some stitches. Just like we did for the headpiece, you want to create some diagonals, some X's, just to kind of help switch things up a little bit. We're then going to be taking our brown eyeshadow and creating some extra little expression lines in his smile, kind of creating some areas where there might have been seams and just emphasizing those little round parts of his smile like he has in the animated movie and also applying those around his eyes as well. 
We're then going to be taking our Maron Paradise paint in white and creating some highlights on the stitches. I did the exact same thing for Sally and for numerous of my other tutorials like Bride of Frankenstein. I feel like this is a really cool way to kind of add some more of a character design to your creation and just kind of make it a little bit more fun and bold. You're then going to be taking some spirit gum and applying that on to your mouth, waiting for it to get tacky before you apply your gummy worms. I would have shown a picture of the bag of gummy worms, but by the time I took the product shots, I had already eaten them all, even though they kind of tasted like crap. And that's saying a lot, being that I am obsessed with gummy worms. So you're just going to be applying that all over your face and also out of the gaping wound in your chest before going into your Krylon UV Aqua Activated body paints and just applying those on to the gummy worms. I'm using practically every single single color, just trying to mix it up just so the light would hit them in different ways. I'm using greens, pinks, blues, purples, just a bunch of the really fun, bright ones. This was actually the very first body paint kit I ever got. I got it in high school, and so it definitely has a lot of nostalgia attached to it, so it was really cool to be able to incorporate that into this Halloween tutorial. Next, we're going to be taking some oh so sticky KY jelly and just applying that around the mouth and anywhere that you have gummy worms because this is going to be replicating the saliva and the goo that is coming out of his disgusting mouth and body. Next, we're going to be taking our Tarte Lights Caramel Lashes Mascara and sweeping that through our eyelashes. And last but not least, you're going to be taking some of your black floss string and the spider and attaching that to the tip of your headpiece. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel so you can see more of my videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.